and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. I know it has been a very long time <laughs> since um, we have filmed one of these. I have had a crazy 2017 so far. It's been one of those things, it's like my part-time job went full-time and then a bazillion and other half things happened and I doubled my <laughs> doubled all my class teaching so somehow we have two bark boxes because <laughs> I I have not opened one so one is from January and one is from February I should probably figure out which one is which but we'll see whichever one we open first and another thing just to <laughs> just to say before we start if you notice that Miko has some green on her butt She's wearing underwear. Um, if you don't know this already, Miko is not spayed because eventually she'll have just one litter of puppies. Um, Miko's line, so Tink and Meek are half-sisters. Hi, sweetie. And their line has been in my family since my mom got her first Samoyed forever ago. So Miko is gonna continue the line. <laughs> oh, thank you for punching me in the teeth. Miko is gonna continue the line for me. But yeah, so just one and then she'll be, but anyhow, that is why she is wearing underwear. Hey Meeks, can you show everyone your underwear? Come here. And all of her underwear is superheroes right now. She's wearing Green Lantern. Usually she has on uh, Batman or Superman and or all of that fun stuff. So their little boy's underwear with their tail stuck through where the pee hole is. Anyhow, let's start out with, ow! No teeth. Um, apparently I didn't take the lead tape off either of these. So, hmm, I don't know which one's which. I'll just start out with this one. And they know as soon as the bark boxes come what they are, so the fact that I haven't opened these for a while, they keep sniffing at them. All right. <laughs> so, Sniffing Safari Bark Box. I wish this told me which bark box you are. Does it say somewhere where, uh, what date it was? Alright. It doesn't matter. We'll figure this out. Anyhow, so Sniffing Safari. And... This month, our dogs are hearing the call of the wild, not to be confused with the call of nature. Very cute. And this first thing is a safari hat. I bet you it squeaks somewhere. <gasps> what do you think? So it's super hard down here. <laughs> Ow! Miko's a crazy person. All right. So it's a safari helmet. This is very cute. Looks like you could like throw it like a frisbee. All right. Next, we have Charlie's Heart of Cheesiness Sticks with Cheddar. The first ingredient is ground peas, then cheese. Nothing too bad. Oh. You back up and wait your turn. Back up and wait your turn. Sit down. Wait. And Please don't drool on me. Oh. All right, these are pretty big, so we'll cut them in half. Good waiting, Tinkerbell. Here we go. These smell very interesting, to say the least. They do have 11% protein in them, which is nice. But, oh dear lord, do they smell awful. All right. Next, we have Nana's Natural Chicken Jerky. Bark box approved. Number one ingredient is chicken. You girls are gonna be spoiled. They're about ready to go eat some dinner. So, um, well, they can't spoil their dinner. These girls love to eat in general. This is hysterical. They're like little diamonds, like actual jerky looks like. And no, you don't get the whole thing. Miko, you're gonna give me an arm workout. What are you doing? Crazies. I don't know if you can see this, but my entire arm is covered in drool. It's pretty gross. You are pretty gross, yeah. All right, and we have a Butcher's Block Bones Crunchy Tube. 
I love how it says not for human consumption. Yep, I'm gonna chew on a trachea because that's gonna be a thing. Uh, produced in the USA by USDA Inspected Beef. It's a natural source of glucosamine and chondroitin, which is really good for um, joints. What do you think? Yeah, we'll have to cut this in half. You can have some later. All right, and last but not least, they will love this. I'm going to assume, yep, it's a snake with a little tongue. <laughs> but this is Slytherin Steve me stop and it squeaks in multiple places the girls aren't big ball dogs like they're they're they don't really like hey the girls aren't big ball dogs they don't like playing fetch very much stuff like that but anything they can each grab a side of and yank on is definitely a good thing what do you think tink what is this Tink's like i want the treats mom so this will be fun the uh, squeakers in here are almost like the size of like toilet paper tubes, so that's better for these girls with big mouths, huh? Okay. And as per usual, one of my favorite things about bark boxes are these really silly paper inserts. These are dogs going on safari in Africa. There are monkeys throwing poop. That's always hysterical. Oh, this is really cute in general. But super fun. So yes, that is, oh, I'm throwing things on the ground over here. That is Snippin' Safari. Okay, so that one is finished. And because, like I said, oh, back up here, little one. <laughs> um, we have not done this in two months, so I'm not sure. I, I'll have to figure out and like, asterisk get somewhere on the video says what month is what and I'll tell you on the bark box website because these toys are available and the treats are available to buy afterward if you want to reorder them but this is the next month the girls are just gonna have like 12,000 new toys we're gonna have to donate some of these you're gonna have way too many Miko get back up here Where's the paper? Oh, this is really cute. It's a passport. Nico found a squeaky toy. Hey, can, can you wait for a sec? No? You go well. Um, United States of America. This is Pup in the Air. Pack your bags, we're going traveling with this month's Bark Box. Whether you're slipping to Kathmandu or shuffling to the kitchen, we've included everything your dog needs to trot the globe like a pro. And it's like a little mini dog passport, which is hysterical. Actually, I almost moved to England for grad school years ago when I only had Tinkerbell, and that's when I first started microchipping my dogs. So both of the girls are microchipped, but you can't go abroad with dogs unless they're microchipped because they have all their information. Huh? Are you just giving me hugs? Are we high-fiving? What's going on? All right, so first things first, this is what Miko was squeaking, so it is very, very wet. Oh dear lord, sorry for headphone users. It is Ripley's Runaway Rucksack, and the ball that's in here is one of those like sensory balls. You can feel it has little like, um, like pokey outy things, so you can grab onto it. So that will be very fun for them, and I think this is going to have to be put away in a box at night, or I'm going to wake up thinking crazy thoughts. Because you girls like to play in the middle of the night, huh? Okay. Next, we have planes, trainers, and automobiles, pork flavor, grain-free treats for dogs. The first ingredient here is pork liver, 12% protein. And these are preserved with rosemary extract, which is always a great thing. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Back up. Really? Really? Yuck, you're gonna wipe, I can wipe all of your drool back on you. Back up. Can you go high five? Good girl. What do you think about that? Nico, back up. High five. All right. All right. Made in the USA, no wheat, corn, or soy. This is cute. We have... 
this is really funny. It is a Polaroid camera. Polaroid camera, excuse me. And we have a Polaroid camera when we do our meetups. I take Polaroids of people who come to the meetups with the pups and give them out. It's a little dog on the Polaroid, and I bet you this, yep. Is this what you were thinking? Yes, and this has a little rope on the top. They're big into rope pulls, like I said before. So this will be plenty of fun. Tink, you're just not interested in any of this. Hi. Thank you. That was lovely. All right. Oh, boy. This is a butcher's block bone. So the same brand as the trachea, which is a nice brand. I bought them for them before. This is a knuckle slice. Um, produced in the USA. Oh, it's beef, so it's a beef knuckle. Um, stuff like this, I wait until I get an additional bone so both of the girls can be chewing on it once because stuff like this, I don't let them chew on inside because carpets, etc. You can't have this yet, sweet pea, and it doesn't squeeze. Silly little girl. Um, but we will wait. Maybe one will get the trachea and one will get a beef knuckle. And oh my goodness. This is so... Apparently I've been talking for too long because the camera shut off. But this very last thing is wafflers with real bacon and molasses. Nico, get back over here so Tinkerbell can see. Come on, get on your side. Grain-free, soft, and chewy. Take your dog on a quick, short, international jaunt with these Belgian-inspired treats. Not gonna lie, I definitely have had way too many waffles in Belgium, covered in absolutely everything. Oh, they're actually, they have waffle, wa what is this called? Waffle, whatever the waffle squares are, waffling on the top. Hey, 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 you wait. I think that one's been the favorite so far. These smell equally as awful. And then, once again, soaking wet. Apparently doing two bark boxes in a row means I need to take a shower afterward because I'm covered in gross. Not from you. No, not from you. And so this is all little passport pages. We've got some eyeglasses, eyeglasses, sunglasses, and stuff like that. So cute, smell the notes. But yes, so, mark boxes, number one and number two. Once again, I'll post somewhere which bark box was which month. Oh, God. I can't even wipe off my face because I'm so covered in drool. I have, like, dog fur in my nose. Anyhow, so we are two bark boxes later. And because we are partnered with BarkBox, if you visit BarkBox.com slash Tink and Meek, you can get a $10 credit to the Bark Shop with your first purchase of any BarkBox plan. And if you go to the Bark Shop and you use code Tink and Meek at checkout, you can get a free chew with your purchase. So thank you guys so much for watching. The girls are about to go have dinner and apparently eat about a zillion and a half treats. What is coming out of your head? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And we will see you again soon. Thanks. Can you girls say bye? Bye. That was a good bye. Great job. Bye.